Welcome to another episode of uh, Fincherpa videos. We are grateful for all the love and support that you have been pouring over the last few months. I am today going to address a query that one of you have raised with relating to returns. And this is exactly the point that uh, this gentleman raised. He says, when I look at the mutual fund fact sheets, they show very, very rosy returns. But he wanted an actual evidence to say, does long-term compounding really work? Is there actual evidence on the ground that compounding does work? And that was a nice question, I thought. And I thought I'll dedicate this video to the curiosity of that investor. And uh, here it goes. Typically, I'm going to address this through the medium of systematic investment plan or SIPs as it's called. Because more and more people are getting into the groove of putting money away on SIPs, it is important for them to understand that after what point in time will my SIPs really be worth what we are looking at. So that's really the point. And for the purpose of this video, I have divided the SIP tenures into four parts. 5-year, 10-year, 15-year and 20-year buckets. And the underlying assumption says that if you're doing a 10-year, that means you're continuing for 10 years without withdrawing any money. That's really the assumption. We have used a simple 10,000 rupee per month SIP contribution as an example. I have taken actual data from fund houses that existed during this period and actual returns if you had done this, is actually the simulation that I have followed. So this is as factual as it can get for you. In the first five years, let's say you did 10,000 rupees of SIP every month. Then over a 60 month period, that is about 6 lakhs of investment that one puts aside. Now this is the first bucket that I have looked at. For the purpose of ease of analysis, in the four buckets, I have used the same funds. These are large cap funds, which I have assumed that one would be investing into. As I mentioned in the first bucket, for that 60 months of 10,000 rupees, that is 6 lakhs of investment that one does, the overall return that one gets is somewhere in the region of about 8 to 9.5 lakhs. The last 5 years have been stupendous. The average CAGR or compounded annual growth rate as we call it is also pretty high anywhere between 18 to 20 percent across any of these funds. So yearly people who have done in the last five years SIPs would have seen that they would have got about 18 to 20 percent return on the average. But when I looked at what is the corpus that is created at this point in time I come across anywhere between 8.5 to 9.5 lakhs. So you put aside 6 lakhs over a period of time, 10, 10,000 rupees. And the amount that you got at the end was anywhere between 8.5 lakhs to about 9 lakhs or thereabouts. What this gives you is, at a rule of thumb, at a very broad average, it says 9 for 6. And you need to be very, very clear that the 6 is not something that you invested on day 1. It's something that accumulates at 10,000 rupees over a 60-month period. Now, this gives you a factor of 1.5 times. So, in a 5-year investment scheme in an SIP, your expectation is largely 1.5 times. You have used 10, 10,000 rupees to create a corpus of 9 lakhs or 8.5 lakhs as the case may be, which, believe me, is a brilliant, brilliant way to create corpus. Now the next five years, that is if you looked at a 10 year bucket, you have invested 10,000 rupees for 120 months and on an average, therefore you have put aside 12 lakhs of rupees into your investment that you have chosen. In this bucket, one sees that the return oscillates, the overall corpus that one creates over a 10 year period is anywhere between 23 lakhs to 24 lakhs. Most of the funds are in that ballpark. This gives you a return overall of about 13 to 16 percent. Different funds, different rates, but broadly the average rests at about 14 or 15 percent would be what I would look at. So this is again a stupendous growth when you look at what you get in other alternative investments of a similar nature. 
if you invested in an RD or a bank deposit over a 10 year period, the return is probably half of what you have got here. So this has also paved a very, very good return. In terms of number of times, on a 24 lakh that you have created a corpus, you only put in 12 lakhs. So I would say the factor that you will need to account for at a very broad sense is two times. So if somebody did a SIP for 10 years, then he would get two times of the investment amount. In this case, it's 12 lakhs. He should expect about 24 lakhs. These are how the past has paved. So I'm just giving you a very, very broad notion of how you should look at things. There is no guarantee, as I said, but this is a very broad way to look at it and a simplistic way of arriving at these values. Let's say you continue for another five years at the same 10,000 rupees. You have not increased your SIP either. You have continued the same journey of 10,000 rupees. Over the 180 months that you've done for 15 years, the amount that you would have put aside is about 18 lakhs. That's a very, very steady and a gritty investor that can do that. But believe you me, that grit that one displays in investing is also rewarded by the fund. The amount that one generates as a corpus, if one continues for a 15 year period, for the investment of 18 lakhs, is anywhere between 55 lakhs and 60 lakhs. Isn't that fantastic? As compared to the earlier growth, the 15 year growth is substantially larger. For an 18 lakh investment, you have seen your corpus grow to about 54 to 60 lakhs. That's a, that's a big number. The number of times also changes, which means 54 lakhs divided by 18 lakhs, somewhere around three times. So at a very broad sense, if you continued your SIP for a 15 year period, you would make three times of return, 3x of return as we call it in a normal case. But believe me, the magic happens when you hit the 20th year. We know it's very, very, very tough for people, especially the new generation of investors who want instant magic to believe in a 20 year story. But in the investment world, the 20 year story is where the magic happens, my friend. So let's see what the data shows on a 20 year basis. You've continued your same SIP of 10,000 rupees. You've done it for 20 years. That is 240 months. You've put aside about 24 lakhs in all. That's a good gritty approach to creating long-term wealth for yourself and your family. The corpus that one creates after a 20 year SIP, that is putting aside 24 lakhs is anywhere between 1.15 to 1.3 crores, which means that on a corpus of 24 lakhs, you make about 5x returns. Yes, my friend, you make a tremendous amount of return growth if you stay invested through a 20 year period. So I rest my case with my friend who asked, does long-term investing really create a compounding effect? Absolutely. As compared to a five-year SIP that gives you only one and a half times, a 20-year SIP gives you a 5x if you continued your journey, which shows that the power of compounding is massive. In fact, compounded annual growth rate, if you continued in the last 20 years, would be anywhere around 15% across these schemes. So it's a very, very rewarding journey if one stayed in equity markets over a 20 year period, especially as in the form of SIPs. Now the caveats are that during the course of these 20 years, would the markets be singularly upward direction? Unfortunately, no. In the last 20 years, we know that you would have had a global financial crisis in 2009. The market went down by 60%. Now, you would have seen that at that point in time, your portfolio is significantly below water. But yet, you had the grit and the perseverance to continue your SIPs through. And that is why this reward is coming to you, my friend. As is the case when the markets hit COVID or any such events. Whenever such adverse events happen, stock markets take a tumble. But as an investor, especially as an SIP investor, your job is just to continue through, just carry on. 
and the markets will rebound back over a period of time. So that's the message of the story that I wanted to leave you behind. Another small information that I thought will be useful, especially for young investors, is that all this data is great, uh, but how is it going to help me? Where can I use this information? And I thought for myself that I should put down a small table and help you guys guide through in terms of creating a corpus for yourself. So this simple table will help each of us arrive at how we can kind of use the data that we have learned so far. So let's say you were somebody in your 35 or 40 and had a 20 year window to retire and you wanted to use what we have learned so far from the SIP journey as to best benefit your retirement planning. So I have used an example that somebody needs 50,000 rupees at today's value coming to them after retirement, which means that you've taken care of most things in life. You have a home, you have everything else. You just need 50,000 rupees for your basic requirements. If that be the case, then over a 20 year period at an average 5% inflation rate, that 50,000 grows to about 1.32 lakhs, which means the items that you live with 50,000 rupees will actually cost 1,32,000 20 years down. If I were to multiply this by 12, which is a 12 month annual requirement, that figure will be about 15.9, close to 16 lakhs. At 16 lakhs, if I were to take an average return post-retirement, if I use a 5% thumb rule, to arrive at 16 lakhs, one needs a corpus roughly of about 3 crores. 3 crores is what you will require 20 years down if you want to live a comfortable retirement life. Going by the examples that we looked at, if over a 20 year, if you require a corpus of 3 crores, we know that over a 20 year period, the factor that works to our advantage is 5x. So this 3 crores divided by 5 will give us that we need to put aside 60 odd lakhs into mutual funds, equity mutual funds through an SIP route. If we put aside 60 odd lakhs, then we can hope for getting about 3 crores. Now 60 odd lakhs as an investment over a 20 year period does not seem a lot my friend. It's less than some of the EMIs that you would pay for even your cars. So look at it that way. And that 60 lakhs divided by 240 months, which is 20 years converted to months, translates to about 26,000 rupees. Yes, you heard me right. Just for 26,000 rupees, if you can start an SIP today, you can financially secure your life in the future. Now this number will vary mildly if you are somebody who has only a 15 year window to complete your retirement and you are seeking how to do it well, this number will be slightly more, be 2000 rupees more, something like 28,000 will be the number. But broadly, if you have enough time, if you give yourself a 20 year window, you can financially secure yourself for whatever goals that you may have in life. And the punch is that the best returns, especially in mutual funds, happen over a 20 year period. 15 to 20 is the best time for you to look at returns from your SIPs. This is especially so because today we see a lot of people starting SIPs without really looking at it from a long term perspective. Yes, the short term today is very, very rosy. Markets are doing well. but there will also be a time when the markets won't do so well. Maybe there will even be loss on your portfolio. But the trick in SIP is to continue through that journey for you to see the big number later. I hope this video was useful to you. Write to us if you want more clarity on any of the topics that we have covered so far.